Hi Cancer, welcome to your March love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at a love connection reading for you at this time. This has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You have to at least know them, know each other, and believe that there is some sort of connection there. You don't necessarily have to be together. So this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male, female. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, don't try to make it fit. <clears throat> can be past, present, or future energies also. And I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box to your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is in the description box, and I'll pin some of that to the top comment. And also another way to tip or donate is during the premiere, which you're watching now. The Super Chat is open, so you can also tip or donate that way if you prefer to do that also. And if you do, thank you. So let's see what's going on for you at this time. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So we have fire, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries. And fire is a very uh, passionate energy. It's a go-getter, ambitious kind of energy, going after what you want with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So let's see what's going on for you, Cancer, at this time. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get an opening energy between you and your person, sort of like a love connection energy, see what the energy is like at this time. Please spare it between Cancer and whoever they are thinking about for this reading. Please, thank you so much. What is the current energy between Cancer and whoever they are thinking about for this reading? Well... <laughs> We do have a wedding here. The situation involves marriage. <coughs> Sorry. So somebody could be thinking about marriage or maybe somebody in the situation is married or maybe you are married. I don't know. We'll see. So first thing I'm going to do, well, the next thing I'm going to do here for you, Cancer, is I'm going to put you on this side, your person on that side. I'm going to get one card for you, one card for them, how you are both feeling about each other and the connection. If any time during the reading you feel like the energies needs to be switched or flipped, please do that anytime you see fit. So let's see. How is Cancer feeling? Okay. How is Cancer's person feeling about them and the connection spirit, please? Thank you so much. How is Cancer's person feeling about them in the connection? Okay, Cancer, what do we have for you? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Uh-oh. And your person has heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So codependency could be actual addictions or obsessions or toxic behavior, energy, or just something somebody's doing too much of, and it could be anything. It could be pe people, places, and things. There, that you could be you could be doing too much of that's affecting your relationship. It could be working too much. It could be not spending enough time with them and spending too many too much time with friends and family, or going off on your own, partying too much on your own, or I know anything that you're doing too much of that's affecting your relationship. And I feel like they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation to you about this. So let's see. Or it could be being codependent on each other. You know, you feel like they're codependent on you. Maybe you're dependent on them. So we'll see. And we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, wow. So I really feel like here you both feel like this is the one for me. This is my soulmate. That could be that fire energy, very passionate energy. It could be that it's very, maybe it's um, codependent, but not in a bad way. Um, just feel like a very strong energy. And that could be that fire energy between the two of you. Where you just feel like, you know, you need to be with this person all the time. But I'm not getting like in a bad way. But I mean, it could be. So they may want to have a heart to heart about this. It could involve 
getting married or getting engaged or a long-term commitment doesn't have to be marriage or something here and they definitely wanted to have a heart to heart about that wow all right so let's see what's going on here for you cancer i do say cancer thank you to everybody who has subscribed all my new subscribers thank you thank you those who have tipped donated sent a gift or reached out for personal reading thank you for supporting me in the channel it's truly truly appreciated and we just hit 10k subs so i'm having a contest in a giveaway to win a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me so if you'd like to enter the contest i will put a link below and i'll take you to the um community tab of the channel and i have made a post there about the contest and there you will find everything you need to enter and all the information that you need so if you'd like to follow that link and enter it'll be open till the end of march and then uh, the, I'll close it April 1st, and then I'll pick a winner. So feel free to enter if you like to. And if you do, thank you so much, and good luck. All right, so Cancer. Let's see what's going on here. Cancer, Cancer. What is going on, Cancer? Wow, that's way too many. Let's take this one. So we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So that's that fire energy. So the Knight of Wands, I mean, the Knight of Wands upright could be somebody who goes after what they want, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion, but it also can be a player. Sometimes they consider that the player card. So I feel like here, the Knight of, Knight of Wands in reverse, somebody doesn't want to be a player anymore. I feel like they really want to commit now. It could be, well, I don't think it's you because you're not a fire sign, but maybe this person was a player. And maybe with the codependency, you were getting more, uh, you were getting more connected to them, more feelings for them than you thought maybe they had. And uh, I think you want more of a commitment and not just this in and out player energy. So let's see what else here for you, Cancer. Eight of Swords. So mental entrapment, mental blockages here. Yeah, I feel like you were starting to get deeper feelings for this person. Maybe it was just like a light, fun connection at first. And now you're like getting caught up in your head like, oh, wow, I'm starting to develop more feelings for this person. You know, it's been just kind of an in and out energy. Now I'm feeling like I'm getting more codependent on them. Um, and I want more because I feel like this could be the one. And you want more of a commitment from them than what they were giving. But they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. So let's see what that's about. What is this heart-to-heart -heart here for Cancer? Page of Swords. So definitely <clears throat> open, honest, truthful communication here with the Page of Swords. Could be watching one another online, keeping tabs on one another. Or this is just going to be very open, honest communication that they want to have with you. All right, so what else here for Cancer's person? Four of Pentacles. So <laughs> they could be telling you, hey, I want, I don't want to let you go now. I want to hold on to you. Also, I'm, you know, feeling more dependent on you. I'm starting to feel like you're also the one. Now I want to commit. I don't want to hold back anymore. I want to honestly tell you how I feel. They could have been holding back for a long time and you weren't sure what's going on. Is this, a, is this just, you know, a fun time every now and then and not really much more? But now they want to have that conversation about this, about, you know, what they've been holding back. They've been guarding their heart. But now they're ready to have a conversation. So <clears throat> let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, what's going on? What is the actual situation now here for Cancer? The hangman. So yeah, you feel like kind of hung up on this person, but it's kind of stagnant, not going anywhere. Or you think that anyway. But this is also enlightenment and gaining new perspectives. But definitely I feel like you're getting hung up on this person. Definitely the energy I felt. Yeah, you want mental clarity here. You want... You want this big conversation. 
you want this mental clarity. This is a new beginning based on having mental clarity, conversations, epiphany, aha moment, cutting away things no longer serving you. But this is the sword of victory and success. Divine energy here with the sword of truth. So let's, oh, let's see. Seven of wands. So this could be a little defensive on guard or just standing up and fighting for this. <clears throat> Protecting this connection. That's that fiery, passionate energy. So that's between the two of you. So let's see what else here. The hermit. Yeah, so they've been in retreat mode here. But, you know, you go. they go in retreat mode, but the hermit always finds their way, their path, their light. They heal. They do that inner journey, soul-searching work. What else here? Death. So... So I feel like they've really gone within and thought about this to, I feel like this person's getting more attached, which could be you and they want more, possibly a commitment or marriage. I'm not sure if I want that. Do I end this or can I end my ways of being just sort of like an in and out energy and transform and have a new beginning with this person? The sort of victory is right here, but we do have defensive energy between the two of you. So I feel like I need one more for death. <clears throat> Why is a death card here? Why is what are we ending? What are we transforming? What's the new beginning? Why is death card here? I feel like it's your person. Please, spirit, thank you so much. The lovers. Okay, so let's get a couple more. The Ace of Pentacles, wow. The Chariot, okay. So, wow, look at that. So they've gone in, they reflected, and they realized, do I want to end this or do I want to move it forward and transform into a more committed energy? And yes, they do, because they see this as a soulmate union, choosing to come in with a stable offer. That could be the marriage card. That could be the engagement or commitment long-term stability and moving forward now a lot of drive and passion victory success balance moving coming in very very quick now with the solid offer and choosing soulmate union here wow okay <clears throat> so they've gone in they reflected and they chose here to choose soulmate union and transform their ways come rushing back rushing in with the chariot energy getting in their car and driving quick to you and saying all right, let's do this. All right, so let's see what the advice is for this connection for you, Cancer. So I feel like for the Seven of Wands, it could be standing up for this connection now, fighting for it, the two of you. Finally letting down the, your guards, both of you letting down your guards here. So what's the advice for this? Six of Cups. So yeah, this definitely is soulmate energy. Could have had past lives with this person. Known them for a very long time or since childhood. You feel like you've known them forever. But yet being a little confused or daydreaming about one another. Options, decisions. Oh, that's too many. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles in reverse. So... All right, let me get one more. One more. I didn't even know I had reversals in here. In the moon energy. So, I mean, I do see they want to come rushing back with a solid offer for soulmate union. They thought about it. They want to end their ways, transform this connection. They've done that healing work, that inner journey work. But the advice here is, you know... Getting past the confusion and the illusionment of the moon energy and not seeing things clearly. There are deep feelings and emotions here with the moon energy. Things may seem out of balance with the Six of Pentacles. For a time, there was an equal give and take. But the advice is here to know that this is a soulmate 
that this is a soulmate that you've had probably past lives with, even though it feels confusing or imbalanced, there are deep feelings and emotions. The path will be clear once they come rushing back in with their offer. And this is the chariot, which is your energy. So rushing back into you with the cancer energy. So let's see what the possible outcome is for this connection. For cancer, please. Spirit, thank you so much. The star. So there's fate, destiny, divine timing, um, faith, hope, optimism, wish and dream, wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy. And there's a brand new beginning in love. So having this deep feelings and emotions, healing, wishes and dreams coming true with the star, divinely guided energy. Divinely guided soulmates here. And the Empress, birth of something new. So giving birth just to a whole new life here with your person of love, stability, moving forward quickly, now coming in and now wanting to have a heart to heart that they're ready to commit or they're going to propose or something here. Wow. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. There they are coming in with the stable offer. Might have been a long time coming. The world. So closing out always, starting a new chapter. Seven of Swords and strength. Having the strength and courage to leave behind that sneaky, deceitful energy of the past. And now realizing how much of a strong bond this is. Having the willpower, determination, and strength. Feeling the sad and loneliness without one another. Now serving justice in this connection, equal give and take and balance, open, honest, truthful communication, overcoming that, being victorious, using the sword, cut away things no longer serving, truth, clarity, standing up for the connection because we do have the Ten of Cups here, total happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home and family between the two of you, pets and the children and everything here between the two of you, the Ten of Cups. So we have Libra, we have Leo, we have, to me this is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, it's also the fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, I'm not sure of the fixed signs, but then we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Leo, Sag, Aries there, Leo, Sag, Aries, um, Cancer, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius. Um, the Empress here is Libra and Taurus. We have Cancer, Pisces. So those are the main signs I see, Cancer. So I do see you may think it's over or you may think they, they don't want to commit more than what <clears throat> is going on right now. But little do you know they thought about it and now they see you as their soulmate now they want to come rushing in with an offer of long-term commitment love deep feelings and emotions wow a lot of healing energy between the two of you divinely guided energy between two soulmates and because this is the one and they realize that now they realize now you are the one all right so let's see Let's get some messages here for you, Cancer. I do ask Cancer, especially if you're new, you like my style and how I read, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You'll get five readings a month. You'll get two love, two general, and a bonus. So let's see, Cancer. So we have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out. So I feel like this person is letting go of their old ways. If they were just a player or in and out and they weren't stable, they, you know, they were in and out, in and out. <clears throat> now they're coming back and they're not leaving this time. All right. So they're surrendering to the connection. They know this is true love soulmate. You're the one for them. What else for cancer, please? We have, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. 
for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And we have here transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transform all things. Exactly. The love between you, the love they, they have for you, you have for them. It's transforming this connection. Anything else for cancer? Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So I feel like if you gave them their freedom to do and think about what they wanted, especially with the hangman, now they're coming back and realizing, I feel that they don't want their freedom. They want you. Let's see what's on the bottom. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Exactly. And the blessing is the soulmate union and this person coming back and now knowing that you are their soulmate and you are the one. And this could lead to marriage, a long-term commitment. Wow, Cancer. Wow, best of luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.